Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a picture in Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. And I've already done a little bit of work on it. Um, this page I did a long time ago, but if you look in my channel, there is a playlist of all the pages that I've done in this book. And uh, we're doing, <laughs> just as a refresher, we're doing this book all in the same colors. So I'll open one of the pages to, uh, here we go, we'll do the first page. So we're doing it in kind of a pink tone, a green tone, a purple, and a blue with black. And if the page needs it, we'll add in some brown. If there's skin that we need to color in skin tones, I'll bring those colors in. But we're basically working with the four colors, blue, pink or red, green, and purple. So that's what uh, this page was done in. So we have the red here in this little globe here. We've got the green up here. We've got the blue here and we have the purple in the background. So that's kind of how I just go through the whole book. Now on this particular page, we do have some houses and the houses will be done in a gray to go with the black background, same tone. <laughs> so it's uh, the black part with the grays. And the mushrooms are going to be done in a pink and a purple. And then the roofs are going to be done in green and blues. Green down here on the, I don't know, the kind of grassy blah, blah, that comes up. <laughs> the flower is probably done in the pinks. And of course we have a few little extra mushrooms and such. So the um, little, snaily guy here is probably going to be done in blue since there's not going to be a whole lot of blue on the page but there will be some and of course we have these um, crystals that are coming down I'm not crazy about coloring those in but I've, I've left a couple um, the whole underside of this mushroom the big mushroom and the little mushroom have all these crystals poking out throughout the whole thing when I painted it with a matte black background with folk art. It's a matte acrylic paint so you get that nice background done on it. I painted over a bunch of them because they're not my favorite thing. I left some because you'll probably want to know how to color them. <laughs> you do not have to paint over the all of them. You can leave them all. I just uh, prefer to change it up a little bit so I don't have to color a whole bunch of them. Okay, and I'm also going to let you uh, know that my wrist is doing a little better. Um, you'll notice this little bump right here. I'm going to mention that because when I get tired and my wrist starts to hurt, this little bump here gets bigger. <laughs> this was an injury that I had incurred um, I'm going to say four years ago when I was in a car accident on the freeway. I was um, rear-ended by like three cars and jammed that wrist into the steering wheel and it just kind of flares up every now and then. So enough said about that. We're going to go ahead and start on Gosh, I don't know. See, I thought I'd do this one in the pink up here, the red colors, and then do the little mushrooms on this one in like the purples, but I don't know yet if I'm actually going to do that or if I'm going to leave them the same color as the mushroom top. The houses are going to be done in gray on the body, and the roofs are all going to be different colors of either green or blue. Okay, so we got to pick something here. I think I'll go ahead and start with the houses because they're going to be kind of um, a little less work on them shading wise because they're smaller. Not terribly small, but smaller. <laughs> so I'm going to get the camera down and we will get working on those. Looks like I'm going to have to be moving that camera around a little bit. So I'm going to try to keep my eye on that. What we're doing is using warm grays. 
So I have warm gray 70%, 50%, and 20%. So 70% is 1056, 50% is 1054, and 20% is 1051. So the outside of the shading, the darkest, is going to be the 70. Then we'll work in towards the 50, and then the last color is the lightest, which is the 20. So we'll go ahead and start with the 70%. We're just going to take it on this side of the building. And it'll kind of blend right into that black a little bit, but that's okay. We're not putting on a whole bunch of pressure, so I'm going to say a medium pressure here. been a while since I've colored in this book so I thought I would get it out and do something fun in it so it's a medium pressure and then lighter when you pull it out I'm gonna get that edge is darkest part but you don't want it so dark that you can't uh, see it with the black on the side just kind of bring it up to the window bring it under one want to shadow those little um, the mm, scalloping part here is going to be done in a black marker so we don't have to worry about being very careful around that area. These little do 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 <laughs> are also going to be done with the um, black pen. We're going to go on this side too. Every building is going to be done the same way. So what I'm going to do is do this big one here and then I'll do the other ones off camera so I can take a little more time and be a little more gentle on my wrist with that Okay, then we're going to be a little darker on one side of the windows and add some of that in here also. And don't forget to go under them. I'm going to turn the book a little bit here. Try not to have to hit everything else on my desk. I've got all the pencils out. Go in with the fifty percent. Just kind of go over everything. And it's light pressure here. 
I am going to go over the 70% with a little heavier pressure after I'm done doing all this. Okay, now we're going to bring in the 20% and just lightly put that in too. back in with the 70% and just put a little more pressure on it and get a darker shadow going on. So how are you all doing? Getting along and all this drama that's going on. Look at all our tomato plants planted. I put them all on our deck this year. We usually put them in the garden, but we're looking to put an uh, air conditioner in the house. <laughs> Guess I complain too much about it being too hot. <laughs> and my husband decided, well, I don't know, this year maybe we need the air conditioner put in. And I believe that the uh, vegetable garden spot is probably the spot that the air conditioner guy is going to look at to put the unit. <laughs> so I thought, what the heck, I will try to grow our tomatoes in, um, well, I've also wanted to do um, container gardening in raised beds. Um, I'm not a spring chicken and sometimes it's a little hard for me to get down on the ground and plant. Well, getting down isn't hard, it's the getting back up. <laughs> so I'd like to get um, raised beds that are actually up off the ground. And go back in with the 20% um, and just blend that in. A little more pressure to get the uh, nap of the paper down so it gives a smooth look here. So yeah, I've been watching a lot of videos on how to do kind of like a square foot garden area. So you get a raised bed and then you plant your plants in like a square foot area. So you plant it out. Here we go. That one's done. It's okay that I colored on the roof. You know me, I'm pretty darn relaxed about making mistakes or coloring over things. It doesn't bother me any. <laughs> if we want it a little lighter, we can go in with a little bit of white. I know this is a small one, but I'm working out at the little packet that I keep all my um, 
Magical Darn pencils in, and this happens to be one of the small ones. <laughs> so just kind of go up where it's the lightest here, because I kind of went over this way. Just kind of make that T right there a little brighter. And if you've been following along with this book, the page on the other side has got stickles on it. And so some of these areas are a little raised, so you'll get a few little bumps here. Uh, they're not raised up as much as some of the glitter glues, but they do have a little bit of uh, height to them. So you have to keep that in mind when you're coloring. Okay, so we have one building. The rest of the bodies are going to be done the same way, so I'm not going to do that. I want to keep my wrist for the rest of the page. So we're going to do... Um, I to think about the roof colors, because if we're doing this big mushroom in pink, this one in purple, so we have blue and green. So I'll have to... Um, Let's see, if I do green, 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 blue, blue, blue. No, I have to work this out. So let's just grab a blue. Blue is the indigo blue. So we'll put a blue on this side. I don't know if I'm sewing this. So you just put the indigo down first. And that roof goes over to here. Okay, so if we have a blue one here, do a green one here, do a blue one here. Mm. <laughs> See, I'm trying to figure it out. This one here is going to be blue. Okay, so the next color that comes in. Oh, here we go. Slate blue. That's one, two, four. And it just go right over the dark blue and bring it out a little bit further. And then our lightest color, which is sky blue light, and that's 1086. And you just go over those colors and bring it all the way across. a little light over here, so I'm just going to bring the indigo back in, pull it over a little bit. And more of the slate blue. I'm going to do a dark one up here. Indigo at the top. Slate blue. And then, of course, the sky blue light. Okay, there's one roof. <sighs> green one. We'll do a green one here. So we have the, um, that is our blue combination, is the indigo, slate blue, and the sky blue light. Our green combination here is moss green, green ochre, 
and then I usually bring in a putty beige or a pale sage. I'm going to brighten it up a little bit with a bit of um, lime peel instead. So we're going to see how this works. Uh, let's see. I really kind of want to do it on the scalloped house, but that might look good in the blue. I think blue, blue, green. Green, green, green. Yeah, okay, we're going to do this one green. So we're going to start with the moss green here. Put that down, both at the top and down here at the bottom. Anywhere that um, are these little things here and these guys up here, they're all going to be done in black. So we can go over those all we want, not be too precise. Okay, now we're going to bring in, I'm going to have to sharpen this with a lime peel. I don't have much of a point on that one. That's a little better. Okay, so lime peel is uh, 1005. I will leave a link down below on all these colors. So I'm just going to go through the middle of this Use that nice bright color. I think that will work nicely with this page. Okay, now I'm going to bring in the um, green ochre. It's 1091. I know it's small and you can't even read what it is, but gives it a nice little kind of olivish brown color here. And we're just going to touch it going up. Kind of give a shadow there. Blends those two colors nicely together. Okay, do I have my little duster? <sighs> Just use one of those. <laughs> If you want to blend that any better, just come in with a little of the moss green and just kind of pull it up a little bit. There we go. So that is our green. Here, let's see. We were going to do blue, green. Do that one green and that one green. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do this one green. So on these, they're tiny, but we're going to put a little of this moss green just in the corner of each one of these <laughs> scallops. Okay. It's kind of like doing a dragon scale. <laughs> dragon scale house. Okay, you get the drift, right? <laughs> We're going to go in with the lime peel. This one here. And we're just going to color in the rest of that. Okay, then we're going to go in with the green ochre. We're going to darken underneath the roof here. 
Dragging down the side and then just touch underneath those a little bit. Okay, so it's going to look like it's shaded that way. So that'll go all the way across the house. Same thing, just want to put a little of the green, moss green up here first. Do half of this <laughs> to the other half off camera for you. Okay. In with the lime peel. And then and the green moss here. I'm bring to shadow under the eave here. We'll get down to the bottom. Because I'm going to shade the bottom up too. Okay, with the green ochre, you want to darken up that edge. Okay, so that's how that'll look. And we'll take the um, blue, and we're gonna do this guy up here. So the dark blue, indigo. alternate them. So the dark as you can get it and the darkest point, but we'll have to go over it again so don't kill yourself. <laughs> then we go in with the uh, slate blue. Just kind of go over it and pull it down a little or up depending on which side you're going on. Okay, then we're going to bring in the uh, sky blue light. We're going to want to go back in with the blue and darken it, or the, the blue, it's all blue. <laughs> the indigo, darken that up. Okay. 
Now if you've gone out of the uh, lines up here with the lighter color, it will show up on the blue or the black paint. Blah. Two ways of fixing that up since I'm not going to worry about it is you're going to go back over this with blue paint or black paint because I know how to talk. <laughs> and just touch that up. You can touch it up with a black um, marking pen. I don't suggest erasing because it will also erase the paint and that doesn't look so good. So if you want to, if it bugs you, fix it up like that. Now at the end of this I will be splattering white paint on here and you can tap a little white dot on any areas that you think need to have a little touch up. So I never fret above around anything. Okay, so we have the blue, green, green, blue, and we have another roof up here. I can either do that one in blue or do this one in blue. So I'm going to do this one in green and I'll just do it kind of the basically the same way we did the one down here in the blues. So we'll just go in with the, I believe this is the moss green, and get that on the edge and bring it in. Darken it up on this side too. bring in the lime green. And you see these darker areas are where the fish is with its sparkle. You can do two things. You can put a plastic underneath there which helps to keep that from happening. So if you just put it over and you're coloring then you won't get those marks. I didn't even think about doing that yet. <laughs> I'm going to go over this area that's dark again just to bring in a little more color there. Like I said, it's been a while since I've colored in this book. Okay, I'm going to bring in the um, green ochre. We're going to darken it here at the bottom. We're going to darken it up at the top. And then we'll bring in some of it here and there. Okay, we're going to darken this side and then pull some in on the roof. Go back in with the uh, lime peel. So just like every other board up there. Just to give it some kind of definition of being different color. Okay. Now we'll do this one in blue here. And we are going to do this in every other color. So we're going to go halfway across with the indigo every other board. You can see this, right? <laughs> okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, then we're going to go in with the um, blue slate. I'm going to bring in the sky blue light. Okay, darken up our little corners here.
and then we're going to pull some of this in on this side opposite of the other side There we go. So that gives us our roofs. Remember, all the buildings are going to be gray like this one. Then what I'm going to do is pause now and I'll finish the roofs and the um, gray on the bodies. I'm not going to do the window uh, pieces yet. I'll let you see how I do those. So I will see you in a little bit. Okay, I finished up the houses and I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this little section here in, um, hmm, I don't know, the star is going to be kind of done in a yellowish kind of, I don't know, maybe even pink or purple. So I'm going to leave that area alone until I figure out which color I need to bring down into this area and the door. So the door and this little archway here. The um, little white lines we see here, I'm going to just go over with a Prisma white and probably bring in some of that little bit of gray when I color this because it'll pull some of that color in in some areas. I will go over um, these white areas, I don't even know, yeah, this one too, with a Posca pen to give it some highlight. But I just want to get a touch of color in there, not much. But like I said, it'll pull some of that in. We'll pull it across here too. I may want to do that in a different color, but we'll pull some of that up. And I forgot I had to put blue up here in this section, so I thought I would do that while we're here. That's the indigo. Just go over those. We're going to make them black later, so you're not even going to notice the color on top. The slate, and then just top it off with the light, sky blue light. At the top, go over those, bring back in the indigo, these lines here are going to be black too, so if you go over it, it's okay. There. Brings in a little more of the blue. And like I said, all this is going to be um, these little scallops, these little things up here. They're all going to be done in black, uh, like do, 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 like these are done. I want to mimic some of that over here onto this page because I want them to kind of go together. Uh, all these little grass things are going to be done the same way, so I'm going to do one of those and show you. So we're going to take in the uh, moss green, and we're just going to take one and darken it up. We'll take the lemon peel and put it in the center. Okay then I want them to kind of be different colors. So I'm going to bring in the pale sage and we'll do one in a pale sage. So we'll just put the moss down on this end and kind of bring some pale sage in there. Very light. 
green. Okay. And then we'll bring in the ochre one and we'll make an ochre one. One with the pale sage and one with the lime green, just so they don't all look the same. And you can throw three colors in, you can throw one color in. We're just going to make them all just different by adding one different color in there. And I got that just a little bit over the line, so color that in there. Boom. Okay, so that's how that grass is going to be done. Just put the four colors in your hand. Don't even look what you're doing. Grab one of the colors, put it down, grab one of the other colors, the lighter one, and put it in it. Then if you know you've got those two, kind of put them under a finger, pull another one, Put it in your other finger, pull out a light, and then kind of mix them up, pick a different color dark, and a different color light. Just so each one is a little different, and there are a lot of them. So, <laughs> I mean, you just keep going with what you got here. And if you want one, all one color. Hey, make one all one color. I like a little bit of difference to it, so I'll just add a tiny bit of that to it. Boom. So you only got like, um, I don't know, a <laughs> hundred of these to do. And even the two light tones look good together, so you can just keep going with whatever float your boat. Boom. So each one will be done like that. I'm not going to sit here and do all that. That's a lot of little guys. So uh, let's see. What I'm going to do is call it for part one here. When we come back, all the little, I guess you can call them grass, but they kind of look like, uh, I don't know blobs. <laughs> you know those uh, lava lamps when you plug them in and they start to get those little long things before they turn into a little bubble that goes to the top. <laughs> That's what they remind me of. Okay, I'm going to finish just those off, the green ones. I'm going to leave all the little round ones. I'm going to leave all the flowers and when we come back we'll do um, the mushrooms and the little flowers down here. Hopefully I can get both of the mushrooms done. Why don't we do the little snail first before we go? We're going to do him in, we'll do him in these greens since I have them out and I need to bring a little green over here. So we're going to do him, this is the uh, green ochre. His little body goes down here. Okay, just throw a little of that on there, and then we'll take the pale sage and fill in the lighter areas. Okay, and then we will put those over here on this side do the shell in um, the blues. I've got all three blue pencils here. So we'll just start in the middle here and bring some of that out. That's the indigo. Kind of go a little lighter here. And we'll go in with just the um, yeah, sky blue light. Pull that out. 
kind of go up and then we'll do since it goes on the outside we'll do the dark indigo down here and then just bring that up with the sky blue light Okay, then I'm going to take the slate blue we did not use and we're going to go in here and then we'll use white. Just pull that around. And if you need to, go back in and darken with the indigo. Just play with it until you like the color that you're getting. And the blending. Okay. We're going to take a little bit of the pink and put it on his belly, but I want to get to that mushroom first. So this is it so far and I will see you in part two. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I hope you'll come back. <laughs> uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye now. Take care.